can you tell me more about that process of being able to recognize what's happening and soothe yourself? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I guess it kind of depends on the specific example, but, and sometimes they're better than others, but, you know, in an ideal scenario, something that would happen that triggers me, um, I think then to myself, you know, this is just your anxiety talking, but it, like, for me, like, that is, like, the actual, like, moment where it flips, so if I catch it, that is my moment to actually action on it and change the path that my mind is going down and much faster change the process and change how the feelings in my body start to kind of dissipate. Um, if I don't catch it, that's where you go into like an actual anxious spiral. So if I'm able to say like, oh, wait, actually I've had this thought before and that's just my anxiety or say like, oh wait, the like sensations in my body right now I've experienced before and they're actually totally the same as when I have anxiety around this other topic. And then I'm able to be like, hey, actually this is just my anxiety talking. I am able then to get like a little bit of kind of comic relief like we were just talking about. And um, the sensations like physically sit in my body for a little bit, but I can feel them like actually start to dissipate, um, which is kind of cool to observe. Yeah, that's great. Um, can you tell me more about some of the incidental triggers? So you're saying, um, I, I really appreciate the process that you just described, um, but what would what would trigger you in the first place? Yeah, I mean, I feel like all sorts of incidental things happen all the time. Um, even like, I, actually something that I find happens often is a friend says something that happens to them. And then I immediately think like, what if that happens to me too? Or like, what if, what if that is also my experience right now? And it could be something totally ridiculous. Like my friend could say, I'm pregnant. And I could say to myself, what if I'm pregnant? Which is like, obviously they're not related to each other, but like my mind will immediately think like, that's not something that I want to happen to me right now. Oh shit, what if I'm pregnant? Um, or like, similarly, I've been finding that with COVID a lot too, where someone will mention um, they, you know, went somewhere and turns out like the brother got exposed to COVID or something. And then I kind of immediately, I'm like, oh, maybe I've been like taking too many risky behaviors lately. What if I also got COVID? Um, so I actually would say like one of the biggest incidental triggers for me is just hearing someone else be worried or concerned about something and immediately assuming I could also have that same problem, even though logically I understand that I don't. Mm -hmm. um, yes, that completely makes sense. It sounds like it's both, it seems like a threat to them that, and then becomes a threat to you and may also be a consequence of empathy. Like if you, because you're an empathic person, I wonder if you pick up on the feelings of anxiety that they're describing and then feel anxious in your body as well. Does that resonate at all? I think that's entirely possible. Um, the family system that I grew up in was such that I was kind of always feeling the sensations of other people around me. So I do feel like now as an adult, if I feel, you know, pregnancy is not a good example. Most of my friends have intentionally chosen to become pregnant and were happy about it. But um, for, you know, COVID or examples where people, you know, maybe someone tells me they got fired by their boss or something like that. I do like immediately feel like I adapt their um, emotional sensitivities and then I feel them my, on my own and internalize them as if it's happening to me. And then I worry that it's happening to me. Okay. Yeah. That's a really great example of incidental um, exposure 